Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the Lab Coats on Back Order, and we are here with our next episode of our Pokemon Shield playthrough here on the channel. In the last episode, if you missed it, honestly, it's been a few days since I recorded it, so I forget what happened. But, as you just saw, I believe, we had a grinding montage to get one of our new team members, I guess our new team member, up to speed with the rest of the team being one of their Pokemon. We've got Hefty, the Trubbish, picked up on route number... Three. He is a naive Pokemon with Sludge. Uh, let's do this. Sludge, Toxic Spikes, Swallow, and Stockpile. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Sludge, Toxic Spikes, Stockpile, and Swallow. And uh, the ability is Sticky Hold. Currently holding the leftovers because I think with uh, the defenses that he has, uh, 32 special, 35 physical, he's more on the defensive side for sure. So I think leftovers might be pretty good for him. Next up, we've got our starting Pokemon with no ribbons. Slick the Drizzile at level 24, a sassy-natured Pokemon. With Water Pulse, Swift, Bind, and Tearful Look. And the ability, of course, is Torrent and a nice speed set of 50. So today, what I plan to do is, as the menu tells us, we have to go to the hill where Sonya is waiting to speak with me. So I'm going to go there, talk to her, and see what that kicks off. Before I do any actual gym battling, though, because the, uh, I guess, stadium we'd call it, I guess, the Turfield Stadium is ready and waiting for us, but I want to go do a little bit more of the wild area, some Dynamax battles. Now that we have Slick evolved up, I'm a little less worried about them, and uh, I want to try and get some more of those Dynamax candies, because my plan is, when we take on the stadium, to Dynamax Hefty, when the time comes, of course, and with the Dynamax candies to increase the HP. I'm hoping that's going to be the way to ride this to victory. So anyway, let us move onward to whatever this hill is called. Uh, Town of Turfield, Geoglyph on the Hill, I guess. There's no real name for it. Can I help you? I took a photo of the Geoglyph, but it just doesn't compare to seeing it yourself. Still, looking at the photo is enough to bring back a rush of emotions. Before... Oh, hi, Yamper. Bow wow wow! Don't force me up there yet. I saw an item. Thank you. I was about to say, if they make me go up there... Ooh, 3x attacks. Of course, it boosts the attack stat. Uh, if the Pokemon is retreated from battle, it wears off. But if they were to force me up here, I would be all like, Well, why, though? Why show an item when I can't get it? Thanks, Yamper. Bow, wow, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had... I had you... I had you come. I can't read, because I wanted to hear what you thought. I thought that was a Meltan. Didn't everyone think that was Meltan? So, that Geoglyph, what do you think of it? Dynamax? Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this. How did I miss the word people? But it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't just be coincidence. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant, but what was that black storm they called the Darkest Day? What connection does it have to Dynamax? I don't know, I better twirl that hair faster. Guess I'm the lucky lady who'll be looking into that. Grand sure gives me a lot to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you a League card. I can't wait to collect every League card in the game. Milo's League card. Wonder if that gives you some insight into how to beat him up. Milo's a Grass-type Gym Leader. Things will go well for you if you use fire, flying, or bug-type moves. You're gonna diss my Trubbish like that? Take these two. It'd be pretty bad if your Pokémon weren't in fighting form. I was about to say, don't give me revives. They're not gonna help me. Anyway, we got revives. Go on, then. Get yourself to Turfield Stadium and battle yourself silly. I guess that's all that is. Okay, so I do see... Can we actually use this? Wait. How, we so How am I supposed to get a picture of two people? I want to stick my head into the photo standing when I grow taller. I mean, I guess I can't even get in the stone joiner part. But we can be here for school of it. It's me. I can smile. Look, the kid's happy. Yay. And that's enough of that. All right, what do you say, peoples? How can a geoglyph drawn ages ago last for so long without eroding away? It's so perplexing. If I think too much about it, I won't be able to sleep. I would think about it and then fall asleep. You know what I think? I think the Geoglyph was created with the help of Pokemon. Could have been aliens. Ooh, what's this sparkly? Bottle of fresh water! Nice! Oh, only 30 HP? 
They've downgraded this water. Did I speak at you? A treasure lies buried somewhere in Turfield. According to this treasure map, the trick to finding the treasure lies in the standing stones. Seek yourself three standing stones with grass before the other ones. Use that use well that strength and find then the strength of its strength in the end. Dally not if you've a mind to find what time is left behind. That's what it says, but I can't make heads or tails of it. So three stones. Huh. Wait, I didn't go over here. There's three stones. What's this? Something's carved into the stone. It says water. What are you talking about? Uh, we got ourselves a leaf stone. A peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It has an unmistakable leaf pattern. Okay, then. So, um, there's three stones before them is grass. I totally forgot what else there was that this riddle said, though. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm done here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go down and talk to the gym. Actually, the stadium, whatever it's called. Oh, it's my friend, Hop. Have a listen to all these words, Chaz. The Crash Gym Badge. I got it in one try. Well, you have a score, Bunny. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wooloo. I've had plenty of practice, after all. But I'm sure you can win this one, too. After all, you are my rival. Don't uh, cash checks that my mouth can't. No, right check, whatever. You can challenge the gyms as many times as you want. I guess it's to your I guess it's to test your unbreakable will. The league cards of gym leaders tell all sorts of stories. Actually, thanks for reminding me, sir. Let's check our league cards and see what Milo is all about. Uh Okay, number 831. I can't flip it. I got to choose it, okay. This trainer was born as the son of farmers. He has honed his strength, stamina, and skill as a Pokemon trainer from a young age by working together with his Pokemon. Because of his gentle nature, he has trouble going all out on weaker opponents, which is why his gym is the first one for challengers to attempt during the gym challenge. He always wears his boots, as apparently they let him dig in his heels when he needs to. What does he use? Did he sign his name with a peanut? Okay. Now, as I say, though, before we do anything he Well, let's walk inside. Actually, let's see. Has Hop been registered yet? Turfield Stadium. Ooh, Hop didn't get registered yet. Okay, I hope I'm not getting thrown into the battle right away. It's Ball Guy! Hey there! Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy! As a sign of our friendship, let me give you a wonderful Pokeball! Friend Ball. Nice green friend ball. A strange Pokeball that will make the wild Pokemon caught with it more friendly toward you immediately. If you catch a Pokemon with a friend ball, it'll become friendly with you in no time. Just like how we became friends. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Sure. Grass type moves are weak to fire type. Nope, grass type Pokemon are weak to fire type moves. That's common sense. You're a gym challenger, right? I'll remember your name if you can receive a grass... Gym, whatever she said, badge. Is that kid a gym challenger too? Is he? I just can't seem to catch a Galarian Meowth. If you have a Galarian Meowth, do you want to trade it for my regular, normal Kanto Meowth? No. I see. Well, let me know if you change your mind. I won't. I heard that tra I heard that trainer is Hop's rival. I'm standing right before you. You don't need to talk to about me in a third person. Uniform Shop. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. I heard that we actually can't wear these, though, in the battles. Can we? I mean, I don't have enough money for them. I'm not going to waste money on uniforms. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for coming by. Now, if I talk to you, do I get beaten up yet? Okay, you probably sell all the same stuff. I'm here to buy. Same stuff. I can sell him all my revives, actually, for money. But not just yet. I heard that trainer was endorsed by Leon himself. I was. So apparently you can't face the gym leader without completing the gym mission first. I wonder what we'll have to do. I'm pretty good at dancing. Let's... Let's see. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Allow me to help you through your registration. First things first, how about a quick refresher about the Gym Challenge? Your goal as a Gym Challenger is to complete each Gym Mission, defeat every Gym Leader, and gather eight Gym Badges. Gym Missions? Tell me about this. The Gym Mission is a sort of test you need to go through before facing the Gym Leader. Each Gym has a different mission for Challengers. So would you like to accept the Gym, or attempt the Gym Mission? 
I'm going to say one moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, of course. Please come back anytime once you're ready to attempt the mission. Uh, I do want to first get some more of those Dynamax candies, as I said. So let's go to the town map. We're going to fly off to the wild area. Yes, please. And I'm going to see if I can connect and see if some of my channel members are able to help me out. So give me just one moment. All right. Sailor Pika or Angie has uh, connected here, and I guess we're ready to battle. I'm good. So do we actually get two extra com or, uh, computer players with us? Oh, yeah, okay, we'll find some others. Okay. So I think they're going to grab other human players, maybe. Or maybe not. Could just be computer. But let's find out as we tackle a Rookie D Dynamax raid. Again, I'm mostly looking to get some more Dynamax candies. These things are loud. <laughs> Alright. Question is, which of us will Dynamax? Looks like I'm ready to Dynamax. But do I get to? Uh... What level is this? Does it even show? Info. It is... Doesn't even say a level. Okay. So in that case, I'll just go to fight. Just to keep me keep me from fainting. I'm going to Dynamax. And let's go with Max Geyser. We'll see what happens. Okay, so what if more than one player tries to Dynamax at the same time, though? Yeah. All right, we're, first time we're seeing uh, evolved slick on the field as a Dynamax. Goes, HP goes up to 103. Nice. Oh, Spark! Ooh, what the? What level is your Bolt Ton, Sailor Pika? Okay, let's just throw a Pokeball. May as well. Again, any Dynamax catches I make, probably I'm not going to be adding to the team, but it's more just a matter of, uh, you know, just uh, for the sake of beating them and catching them. You got to catch them all. Oh, maybe you don't. I think you only have one shot to catch them, right? Yeah, that's fine. Like I said, they're not, I'm not really planning to uh, get that. We got a Dynamax candy. What's an Armorite ore and a Dynite ore? We got a Tri Attack TM. Citrus Berry too. That's nice. So only one player can Dynamax at a time, but how does it determine who does the Dynamaxing? Alright, let me check a look at what we just picked up. I want to see what these ores are. Get the fresh water, okay. Friend Ball, of course, we know that. We got our X attacks, we got all these new things. We got Citrus Berry, we got the Quailot Berry. Uh, Dynite Ore, mysterious ore that can be obtained in the Max Lair. Something good happens if you give it to a Collector in the Crown Tundra. Something in the... Uh, Isle of Armor, okay. I see. Try attack, nobody can learn. Of course, we've got Stardust, and we've got... I bought this stuff, I don't remember if I did this on screen or not. I got bread, pasta, pre-cooked burger, sausages, salad mix. I can make all sorts of cool curries. Alright, so let me go off and try to tackle another Dynamax raid with Sailor Pika to help me out. Oh, you believe the host gets the first choice of Dynamax? I see. Alright, so let's go off and grab another Max raid right now. All right, looks like we are ready for, I think this is a Wooloo. Looks like it's you know, one star normal type, so it shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> this time around, I'm not going to Dynamax. I'm going to allow someone else to do it. I want to see how well Slick would be able to handle himself against uh, a Wooloo indeed. So it could be a huge mistake to not Dynamax. But we'll see. Oh, we got... Uh, we got a Dauntless Shield Zamazenta? I'm not supposed to see that thing. Not yet. Okay, so the Dynamax energy has gathered, but again, I'm gonna wait. What does this do again? Lowers the stats, okay. Now, does this work on a Dynamax? I think I remember hearing it doesn't. I'm gonna use it anyway. I just wanna, I wanna learn. If I even get to hit it. Who knows? We got a Zamazenta here. <coughs> Excuse me, we got Iron Defense? That's like what a computer player would do. Oh, it does still work. Okay. So attack and D, or sorry, attack and special attack goes down. 
We got a Cosmic Power Solar Rock. I've heard about these uh, computer uh, uh, partners. <coughs> Excuse me. And that they're not always all that helpful. Fire Lash. Okay. Ooh. That lowered the defense. Max Strike. On the Heat More. That didn't do much, though, I think. Oh, it hits all of us, though? I mean, affects us all? We all slowed down. Angie can Dynamax. All right, Sailor Pika, you're up. Let's go with... Oh, I didn't take any damage. Good. Let's hit it with a Bind Attack. Do some residual damage on it. Do we get to see a Dynamax Legendary in this battle? Oh, looks like we don't. Okay. That's fine. How exactly am I... Is Slick squeezing that thing? <laughs> Ow! Ow, that did nothing. Okay. Whew. It was a tearful look. Also, this cosmic power is really helping us out. Thank you, Soul Rock. You are a... You are the MVP. Not bad. That must be physical. I guess because it's lowering physical defense. Revenge. Ooh, bam. Down goes Blue. Alright. So, it didn't give you the option for Dynamax, huh? Weird. I'm just reading... Ugh, I threw my Joy-Con aside. I'm just reading the chat. Uh, apparently... She couldn't Dynamax? I mean, we still managed to beat it without, so... Okay, now that I'm getting some more experience with Dynamax Braid Battles, it seems like they're not as scary as I was first thinking they were. We lose the Wooloo, but that's fine. Now, also, isn't it a thing... Uh, do you not get to see if it's a shiny until after you've caught it? I can't remember. Okay, we got another Dynamax Candy. Not bad. Let's do one more Dynamax Raid. And, uh, we'll end her there. Alright, so Angie has chosen Rookie D. Is that the one that we just got? Maybe. And we got, of course, Slick the Drizzile. I think this is an Esper we're going up against. And again, I'm going to... Now that we've seen how we can handle an attack from a Dynamax, I'm going to allow Sailor Pika's Rookie D to go for the Dynamax. Look at this guy. It is an Esper. Oh, how cute! Look at the fangs in that thing! Doesn't that just stare into your soul? Yeah, so I gathered the energy, but again, I'm gonna hold off. Uh, we'll start off as I did before, go for the tearful look. Try to defend ourselves slightly. It looks like both the other two, what do we got? A Salazzle and a Delmise are going for special attacks. Okay, let's weaken those attack stats, please. Thank you. So that goes for Flamethrower. Nice. Max Mindstorm on the Delmise. Oh, it's not terrible. What does that do? Does the field get weird? The battlefield got weird. So that, I believe, means priority moves can't work. Okay, Leer lowers the old defense. Nice. And that is that special attack? Spe Wait a minute. Okay, I'm trying to think of the icons up there. So it shows it's either using off like some sort of an offensive move. I get it. Let's go with a nice swift attack. Oh, if I don't... Okay, if you don't Dynamax the, the turn you have it available, you have to wait for it to recharge again. I see. Okay. Oh, here we go. Sailor Pika, Dynamax, and Rookie D. Nice. So we got a big boy on our side now. Big ol' burb. Look at this guy. That's no rookie. That is still loud, though. <laughs> what the? I'm trying to turn my timer off. Alright, swift attack, Slick. Not bad. Another flamethrower. Will Rookie D get to attack? Find out next time on... Oh! Super effective on Salazzle. Good thing I tearful looked it. Max Darkness. Ooh! Super infective. All right, we just blew up Esper. Let's try and throw a Pokeball. Let's see what happens. So we're pretty we're 0 for two thus far on the catches. Let's see if we can actually get this one caught. No telling what may happen. In three, two, one. I did that backwards, but whatever.
We got ourselves Esper. Now apparently we don't get to see if it's shiny or not until after the catch. I don't think that's a shiny. We got uh, some EXP candies, nice. Another Dynamax candy. Ooh, Mago Berry, Quailout Berry, Big Mushroom, and Zen Headbutt. Well, we had a Pokemon that could make good use of a Zen Headbutt TR. Currently sitting in the injury box. I didn't name the box, did I? Esper Zeta will be added to the Pokedex. Esper, the restrained Pokemon. There's enough psychic power in Esper to send the wrestler flying, but because this power can't be controlled, Esper finds it troublesome. No nickname. You're not on the team. You know you're not on my party. We're good. Okay, so with that, I'm actually going to back out of the wild area. Let's actually deactivate the online communications. I'll tackle some more of that maybe at some other time. But for now, I'm heading off to... Turfield Stadium. Uh, whereabouts? Right up about here, I believe. So, take the next step in your gym challenge by heading to the stadium. That is all that's left for us to do. And the Corviknight Taxi... You know what? I feel like there should have been some sort of animation to show the Corviknight Taxi. But, whatever. Okay, let's go to my Pokemon. I'm going to put away the Esper. And the old... Oh, I did... I'm hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. Alright. No, you're not going to box 8. There we go. Now, for the final thing before we end off, let's use those Dynamax candies because I want to make sure we are ready to roll as much as we can be. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. As well as we can be for Hefty. Let's use four. Dynamax level increased by four, which I believe says it's supposed to increase the HP when it's Dynamaxed. Okay, let's uh, double check that to be sure. Yeah, okay, so we can get, what is it, a total of ten, it looks like? Okay, so four. I would have liked five for a nice even round, you know, half, but whatever. Anyway, so with that, we're going to end off today's episode of Pokemon Shield. Folks, thank you for watching, of course. If you enjoyed it, feel free to click that like button down below. If you want to see some more Pokemon Shield content, check the link in the description to the full playlist. Or subscribe to the channel for some future episodes coming up. Make sure you hit that bell button for notifications. And if you'd like to be here live during the live streams and participate like Sailor Pika has, join the channel as a channel member by hitting join down below. And Lab Aid members do get access to these live streams as I record them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings. So feel free to join up and be here for those. And if you follow me, or sorry, if you want to follow me on other social media, check out my links in the description to Twitter and Instagram. You can check me out on there at Professor Chaz. With that, we are now done for today's episode. Once again, folks, thank you for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.